Hey guys. So a bunch of you have been asking about the uh, Dark Glass Microtubes B7K. Um, I did an unboxing video on this thing a while back and I promised a demo and I've been getting a lot of when's it coming, when's it coming from a number of you guys. So, well, you asked for it, you got it, here we go. For those of you who are wondering, the Dark Glass B7K is a pedal-sized bass preamp. Now, I've been a user of the Sans Amp bass driver DI for at least the last 10 years, and I gotta say, the Dark Glass is a serious step up. There's actually mid-range controls on this thing for starters. And then you get these switches uh, for really tweaking your sound out. The first one is uh, the attack switch, where you can tune in just how much bite the sound will have. And the second one is grunt, which controls the type of grit you can add. Um, start playing around with these and it's so simple to come up with a great tone, even a bass player can do it. It's also extremely versatile too. Check this clip out where we go from clean to dirty. Now for the clean clip, we had both switches down and for the dirty, both switches up. Like I said, so simple, a bass player can do it. But it not only makes cheap fenders sound great, it also works well with fan fret Ibanez basses too. Uh, the most important thing I can tell you about the Dark Glass, that it just plain works in a mix. In fact, I've used it on every single demo I've made since the end of May when I unboxed the damn thing. It just has the sound that I've been after for years and plays oh so nice with heavy as hell guitars. I can honestly say when it comes time to track bass, that is, once we get the bass player to stop drooling all over himself, the first thing I reach for is the dark glass. This thing is just awesome. If you're in the market to step up your bass tone, take a look at this. Check out darkglass.com, you'll be glad you did. 